for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffed up the Mad Shoes as always. Got another update video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be going over uh, the February 3rd uh, title update. Uh, this is whether you're on current gen or next gen. Uh, it's pretty much the same update as far as like the players that get affected. Ultimately, I typically try to do these videos when it comes down to gameplay changes, and I really wasn't sure if I was expecting any gameplay changes with this update, but I was expecting uh, some some franchise changes, and none of these things actually happen. This is pretty much just an X Factor uh, and a Superstar ability. Um, you know, there's there's some, there's a lot of new X Factor players. That's basically how, what this boils down to. Uh, and I'll give you guys my thoughts on the players that got what X Factors and whatnot. Uh, but ultimately, you know, they really uh, pumped up a lot of players that were big time performers this year. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get right into it. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, though, hit the like button in the comment section. I'll continue to do these update videos. Uh, but ultimately. The first player that got the the, the most uh, additions is Jonathan Taylor, which makes a lot of sense. He was the best running back in the league this year by far, especially after King Henry went down. He really took over the mantle as the best running back in the league. So they went ahead and they gave him Freight Train, Armbar, Jukebox, Matchup Nightmare, and Closer. So this guy here is just going to be an absolute overpowered monster for anybody who likes to run the football. Make sure you're taking the Indianapolis Colts. That's probably long overdue because he had such a big year. He'll probably get like an Offensive Player of the Year award somewhere. I would imagine. So to give him arm bar, jukebox, freight train, match nightmare closer, I mean he's just gonna be uh he's gonna be a nightmare in the game, which is what he should be in the first place because he had such a monster year his second year. Uh after that, another player there's a lot of young players here that really got a lot of uh a lot of attention, by the way. Mika Parsons, who had a rookie of the year, defensive rookie of the year caliber season for the Cowboys. Um he's gonna have unstoppable force out of my way edge threat and secure tackler so ultimately he's going to be a guy that is going to probably rush the pass a lot better than he did before all this because ultimately he comes in as a really fast linebacker i'm not sure if a lot of people are using him as an edge rusher he obviously had a lot of success as an edge rusher so now with all these traits he'll definitely be a much better pass rusher coming off the edge then you get to uh justin jefferson who had the second best uh you know season in the in the league this year just behind uh, Cooper Cup. I mean, it's really hard to say, but he definitely had another great year. Two great years in the books for, for this young receiver. Uh, and they went ahead and gave him double me, outside apprentice, route technician, deep out elite, and short in elite. So ultimately, you know, these guys, the first three guys they mentioned here, they just gave four or five traits. Those guys right there, those three guys alone are going to be absolute studs. Uh, based off of the fact that they're getting multiple, um, you know, X factors and superstar abilities rather than just one or two, like a lot of times you see in these updates. So those are the three new X factor players. Now, as far as players that were upgraded to superstar, there's quite a few. Uh, JC Jackson from the Patriots, which is surprising that he wasn't already on that, but ultimately he gets acrobat and pick artist, which will obviously give him a lot more interceptions. And considering that I think he has the most interceptions in the league over the last couple of seasons uh, total, he should have probably already been had some of those uh then you got deontay johnson for the steelers had another big year he now has short in elite and short out elite jordan poyer uh defensive back for the bills now has deep out ko zone and mid zone ko which is you know those those obviously are going to make him a much better defender uh especially the deep out zone ko anytime you run cover two that's going to be especially helpful when the safety has that so cover two man or cover two zone which to me is already one of the best defenses in the game he's going to be that much better when it comes to covering ground in those zones uh then you look at uh, cordell patterson who had an absolute monster year out of nowhere as a receiver slash running back for the falcons he now has backfield master and recuperation which is going to give him, um, you know, I, I mean, the backfield master will make sense considering that he was a receiver up until maybe a couple years ago when the Patriots tried him out as a running back, and now he's kind of like a dual threat guy. Uh, as far as uh, defensive tackles, Kenny Clark now has inside stuff and unpredictable. Jeffrey Simmons has uh, El Toro and run stopper, which he had a monster postseason game, which is probably why they, they took another look at him, but he was also a, a high first round pick guy that's finally getting some recognition that he deserves. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the uh, the players that were promoted to um, X Factor and Superstar. Now the players that lost it because remember they only have so many to give out. I think it's like 50. Uh, that the, the demoted players were 
Fletcher Cox, um, who really didn't have much of a year at all. Uh, Amari Cooper, who is sometimes the second or even the third best receiver on the Cowboys. Uh, and Ezekiel Elliott, who um, didn't have much of a, a year at all. So those are three guys uh, that you know probably didn't deserve to have it. I mean, maybe coming into the year, uh, I, I argued that Ezekiel Elliott coming off of a less than 1,000 yard season last year probably shouldn't have been rated so high. It looks like EA is coming off of him a little bit uh, as he's come back down to earth. Uh, then it comes the demoted superstars, Grady Jarrett. Not sure, I don't know what type of year he had, but I know he's a great player, so I'm not really a fan of that. Andrew Whitworth, who is the oldest starting offensive lineman in the league, he lost his superstar ability. James Bradbury, who obviously didn't perform as well as he did the year before because he had such a great year last year. And Aaron Jones, who also um, kind of had a down year based on the fact that he split more time with, uh, with A.J. Dillon. Um, so ultimately, he probably just didn't get as much opportunity. He's in a, he's in a backfield by committee role now. So those are the four uh, superstars and the three X Factors that got demoted. Other than that, that's pretty much it. There's no real other additions uh, to be talked about here, uh, which brings me to, you know, I just wanted to give my own little take on it because I really expected EA either this week or next week to, to have a, uh, you know, an update come out. I really thought that they would have some franchise updates for us before the Super Bowl uh, was played. And now that this comes out, I can't imagine they're going to have another update out next week. Uh, so this is going to leave a lot of people hanging high and dry when it comes to um, you know, franchise players that were really expecting something. Man, I can't imagine. This is when the NFL and when Madden really have the most um, spotlight on them right now is right before the Super Bowl. So it would have been a perfect time to drop an update that was really more meaningful than this. This is really something that really doesn't have enough uh, meat and potatoes to it other than, you know, unless you're a uh, franchise player, you're starting a new franchise, or you just play a lot of regs, which I don't even think are probably... They're probably two of the lesser... Um, I, I can't even imagine that those are some of the most played, uh, you know, styles of games. So to me, this is uh, it's, it's it's inadequate. It's it's a very small update uh, considering what I think that a lot of people were expecting uh, coming into the final weeks of the NFL season. So to me, they really dropped the ball. Um, I, I think if they had to, you know, I don't know what happened with the franchise updates. I don't know if we're ever going to get them this year. They said that they're going to keep with it. They're going to bring out the new franchise updates before the end of this, this season, but it's getting to the end of the season. So I can't imagine, I guess the, the best thing we could hope for is uh, next month's update to have franchise uh, updates. But ultimately for a lot of people, like when the NFL season's over, Madden season's over. So it's really too little too late if that's what they're going to do. Um, other than that, like I said, it's just uh, it's kind of disappointing. I really expected a bigger update. I really expected maybe even some gameplay changes, which we haven't, you know, there's no notes here. So ultimately, at the end of the day, this is kind of a weak update. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, I am happy with some of the players that got the got the new superstar abilities and new X factors. But ultimately, I mean, like I said, it's just too little too, too late uh, when it comes to, um, you know, EA's updates, which just haven't been enough this entire year. So I'm going to end the video there. Like I said, if you guys want to see more updates like this, as always, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.